Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully everybody's doing okay. Uh, the two jobs I'm going to show you in this video, both of them, you really needed a crystal ball. And sometimes these jobs can make you look stupid as a plumber. Um, you're sort of working on the assumption that it's worked at some point. But as you'll see in the video, obviously I don't want to spoil it too much. Um, that I can't see how it's ever worked. The first one was a bath tap with no cold water coming to it. And the second one was a heating system me and Harry uh, converted to a combi. Uh, I did actually film the full job of this, but I haven't shown much of it yet. Well, I haven't. I think I showed the install of the boiler and nothing else. Um, so yeah, um, we filled up on one radiator, won't, won't work in, and you'll see why in the video. But yeah, sometimes it can be a nightmare. And obviously, when you go to the job, you don't always get the full picture from the customer because you you just sort of assume that stuff works but yeah clearly clearly it doesn't but yeah let me know what you think let me know if you've ever had this before i'm sure we've all had it at some point thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you straight in the video this job we've got no water coming out of this cold tap the cartridge feels okay we'll whip it apart but i think this is tank fed cold and uh, the gate grab in the airing cupboard i'll show you feels really crispy so that's the gate valve for it i wonder if that has been snapped off Ugh, you can't turn it oh so we nip up in the room see if we can bung the tank and have a look if we're getting flow out of that gate valve probably put a lever valve in there to give us control anyway because we need to turn the water off anyway uh, to get to the to fix the tap Tanks are in the eaves. Uh, what I'm doing is taking two bungs in with me because I'm not sure which will be the hot draw off and which will be the cold. So we'll get both of them bunged off if I can even get through. Which end are they? Yeah, they're the other end. Fantastic. Right. They're bunged off. So it may well be something wrong with the cartridge, but either way we needed to get it bombed. Nice and specced. <clears throat> Just let that breathe in through the tap. I mean the tap may well be faulty, but... Through. Yeah, so that was fully open actually. So I'm wrong. I'm still going to put a lever valve in there because I can fix the tap in here. Second, it won't have improved anything, but good job. I got Jacob with me, he can go up in the roof. Yeah, I mean, it may just have an airlock. Hot's fine. We'll whip that cartridge out now, and now we've got control. Have a look what's going on. Normally, the quarter turn ones are okay, but obviously, it isn't. Oh, I need to tell Jacob. Maybe if I get my socket set out, I'll probably get it. I'm able to get one of these ones. Do you reckon you can? No doubt. My mate's done it. Didn't even need the socket set. <coughs> He's way better than me, to be fair. Way better than I'll ever be.
can see. Just uh, crack that water on, Jacob. Froze, just slowly on that lever valve. Is that full on? No. Uh, just crack it on a little bit more. We're not even getting any water, mate. We're not even getting any water. Right. So we've either got an airlock or there's something under the bath restricting it. Right, just switch that off, mate. Right, I think we must have an airlock. Uh, so what we're going to do is going to try and wet vac it through. So we've changed that lever valve now. Um, Is that full on, Jacob? Yeah. No, we're not getting a lot of water, mate. Still. Um, switch it off. We'll have to whip the bath panel off and see if there's something underneath, kink flexi or something. I mean, it is on a flexi. It's not exactly looking the greatest. Um, but I don't see any reason why that would restrict the flow. It's not kinked or anything. And I don't know why it's all of a sudden stopped working. Um, unless it's the, you don't think the diverter's gone, do you? You don't think it's not letting water through into the... If you undo it, we can find out into the bucket. But the, the hot's working fine there, isn't it? Is, is that full open? There's a lot of air. Surprised the wet vac didn't pull that through, though. Maybe if you've got on the end of the flexi, it'll be a bit more efficient than through the tap. I mean, I'm probably going to need to change that flexi anyway, but... <sighs> I still need water. Um, yeah, we'll try that then. We'll try it straight on the end of the flexi then, mate. Do you want to switch it back on into the bucket? Yeah. we just switch it back on and see if we get anything. No, but we're still not getting any water, are we? Unless the inside of the flex is collapsed or something. Switch it off, Jacob, again, mate. Yeah. If we go further back on the flex, eh? Let me take that flexi off. Yeah. I'll see if I've got another one in the van. Just, just crack it on, Jacob, without the way back on it. We're getting a little bit, but not a lot, are we? Right, switch it off. Not a lot of pressure on that. I know it's tanked for... I wonder if it is just a big airlock. We'll put it back together. Um, it makes you wonder if there's like a bit of insulation or something that's been pulled down it. I'd have thought there should have been a little bit more head on that. We'll put it back together, mate, and... Yeah. There's definitely not another. There's definitely not another valve on the roof or anything like that, is there? Not when we touched. Yeah, the hot, the hot's got the same head on it, and it's fine, isn't it? Yeah, the cold one. Yeah. So we should we could maybe suck it out of the bottom of the lever because it sounds like it's come passing through the lever all the air. Well, it's no, it's no different if you suck it out from here or that lever, though, is it really? It isn't because it's further back on the run. Bigger pipe bottle. Yeah, I'd have thought if it was going to clear it would. It would clear, mate. How hot the water? I didn't see the other entrance this side, I could be on a mattress. 
I wonder if there's another gate round up here or something. Because we're not getting any water. We've sucked on that with a wet pack. We've had the bath panel off. And this can get too easier this side. There's definitely something weird. We'll go down and have a look if there's another gate valve or something. Our tank uh, feed out. So they, so it'd be this, it'd be this pipe here. Oh, look, that's why it's not working. <laughs> There's a flexi on it, look, and it's kinked. That's why it's not working. Yeah, found it now, haven't we? We've found it now. Oh, why do people do stuff like that? <laughs> but that's what the problem is. It just took us too long to find that, really. What a joke. I'll see if I've got a couple of speed fit sockets and a bit of pipe, and we'll just use the speed fit elbow on there, bung that tank back off. Yeah, can't believe it. Can't believe that, but that's what it is. I knew there was some oats. I knew it. Right, we'll get this tank bung back off and we'll get that flexi done away with. I can't really see how that's ever worked, um, but apparently it has. But, I don't know. Tank's bond. <clears throat> hey, right, Jacob. Uh, there's a bit here, actually, mate. Uh, I've got. I think I've got enough inserts anyway. But I can use it if you want. I can use it. Right. Use whatever in it. I'm just going to use speed fit. Oh, there we go. Obviously, normally you'd mark the insertion depth, but we know that's gone all the way in. Get the water unbunged, that's why it won't work in. 
Yeah, you straight outside. You what? Yeah, <laughs> see straight outside. That's not our problem, mate. Not good, but. Right. Should have put my shoes on. My socks are full of insulation now. I'm going to have itchy feet. Oh, that's my own fault. The stuff we do. Right, that'd be alright. We're going to see if we've got water. So after all that, we've now got cold water. Which is what we wanted. If only I'd seen it half an hour ago. Beautiful. All the other rads are working apart from this one, uh, but we're not even getting any air out of the uh, rad. I mean, it may be that we've accidentally cut it off when we've cut off the two houses, but I don't see how, because the heating pipes run under this floor, and I teed into them down here, and the pipes were coming across. Um, so I've just... Obviously the valves are open, first thing we tried. We're just going to take the rad off and find out exactly what's going on. I mean, it may be that the valves have collapsed, but I wouldn't have thought of both ends. Um, but there's enough all coming out of the air tap. No water. We've either got too much water or not enough in this job. And at the minute, we've not got enough. I wouldn't have thought they'd be blocked under the floor. It's 15 mil copper, 22 mil copper. Let's see if you can spin that around this way, Harry. Is that valve open? Yeah. We must have cut it off then, haven't we? You see how, though. I don't see how, though. Because we've only teed into the pipes. <sighs> this one never bled when I drained it down, anyway. Do you reckon that one's ever been connected? I don't think it's ever been connected. Well, we can't have cut it off. I did think it was funny that it didn't suck in when I drained it anyway. So that was blocked under the floor, eh? But I thought so. It's got about and a half of pressure behind it, hasn't it? I wouldn't have thought that would have come off the wood burner, right like that, would it? Once it's done, it's not there. What was that? The box falling over. So no, obviously I ain't got no water there though, is it? So Yeah, all the others are working. I teed into them there. There's 22 mil pipes coming across, obviously through into the rad in the toilet and through into the one there. And that one doesn't work, so we've got no water. You know, I don't, I don't, highly doubt it's blocked. You got a pump on the van, Harry? Yeah. You got a tester, a Rothenberger tester, we can blow down it. Yeah. We'll connect a pump on it and see if we can blast it. See if it is blocked, but... Try it. I, I, I would have thought both ends would have been blocked on 15 mil pipe work onto 22. I just don't think it's connected. Not both ends. No, that's what I'm saying. Not both ends to be blocked. This one's open. This yeah, one's no, open. the TRV is open. I mean, it's just it's a floating floor, isn't it? But pull the carpet back and work out what's going on, but. I just can't, I can't see that we've cut it off, mate. It's exactly as it was before. Now we're just going to pump this up. Uh, we've just got a, an attachment to go onto the rad valve there, straight onto a foot pump. Uh, the T's must be underneath there, because the bathroom one's working, the lounge one's working. So the 22 across there, there must be some reducers in there. That clear bit. No, it's got one and a half power brush in the water there. Not connected, are they? They're open-ended, they are. 
Not building up pressure at all, is it? They're not connected to it, mate. Put it on, speed fit under there. Must be. I don't know though, because everything else is hard pipes. Uh, yeah, everything else is hard pipes. Why is that on? Why is it? Oh no, it's just turning only not on. It is. It is. Your copper's not turning, so you're not on it. There's still no water there, though, is there? So. You have to have the carpet up and see if we can figure out what's going on. Must, must be disconnected that rod, it obviously never worked before. So the reason this radiator wouldn't work is because some Muppets put isolation valves underneath the floor and they were turned off. So there's one, I don't know if you can see it, there's one there and there's one there and they were just turned off. It's getting nice and hot now obviously. We'll probably do away with these valves because obviously you don't want them on G floor on heating. Um, but yeah, that's I don't know why they've done it. All the rest of the system's done in copper. Whether this one's been added, obviously they've done that in HEP, which is not done the best. I'll have a word with the customer and find out what they want to do. But we're only here doing a boiler replacement. Um, but it just goes to show it never would have worked. Um, so yeah, easy one sorted, but it needs really needs repiping. But at least it's getting on now. As always, thank you so much for watching. All the support is greatly appreciated. Um, I haven't really picked the camera up much in the last couple of weeks. Um, one or two things, I've been under a little bit of a pressure, uh, only pressure that I put myself under, but yeah, it's just been just been busy. Um, I don't know whether to drop down to one video a week for a little bit and then go back up to two. It just depends. I've got like these jobs I have in the archive. I've probably got, I don't know, tens of hours of footage and um, because some weeks I film like every, not every job but some weeks you film four out of five days and then other weeks like the last couple of weeks I haven't filmed any uh, it just depends what sort of work I've got on um but yeah let, let me know what you think really as I say I always do my best to try and get two videos out um but last couple of weeks it's just been you know one thing after another and then you get home and the phone rings and then you've got not no time to edit stuff but yeah um mind you then it's my problems really <laughs> i don't know why i'm sharing it with you um but yeah as always thank you so much for watching um we'll see you in the next and yeah have a good week guys